welcome to episode 8 of Testing Tuesday. Today we are going to be looking at how we can help batters practice against the extremes of pace. Now, there are a couple of ways that we can do this. One would be throwing from closer, so the speed of the ball gets there quicker. Um, the one that I've looked at today is being able to use a lighter ball, which then travels faster. So, some examples of this, I've got a bowling machine ball that's three ounces instead of five so that goes pretty quickly I've also got an indoor ball which again is three and a half ounces I believe it's still fairly hard on the outside and travels quite quickly and in the sessions I'm going to show you today we are going to be using an incredible now the beauty of this is that you can then progress the sessions as you go along as well so Across the next six to seven minutes, you'll be able to see three different sessions where we progress the same activity onwards to increase the challenge as the player gets more used to the increased pace. And the more exposure they get to it, the more that we then look to open up what I do within those sessions. So have a little look at these clips now and we'll kind of debrief at the end and see what you see.
Hello, Daniel. Oh, start, Dan. Crazy. So what do you reckon then everyone, across those seven minutes and those three sessions, what do you guys see? My intentions are to be in session one, just to look to expose the player in question to a little bit more pace. So I'm looking to bowl more full than I am short and just be a little bit quicker than what I usually am, like a nice gentle introduction into it. Going into session two, I increase the pace again. And what I start to do is I also look at bowling more short balls to expose the ball coming through like throat height and higher. And I also have a go at going around and over the wicket to expose different angles. And then going into session three, instead of throwing the ball cross seam, I throw the ball seam upright, which then means the ball hits the pitch and seams, but also swings in the air, as well as having that surprise short ball in the locker as well. So able to progress those sessions over different periods of time to allow that batter to progress at a skill level and the rate that they need to as well. So I hope that's helpful for you guys. Make sure you comment on the video if you've got any thoughts or views. Like the video, subscribe to the channel and follow Dan Hellesfair Cricket on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks everyone.